Hi and welcome back to my channel. Um, hope you're all okay. Um, I would like to say that um, over the last probably five days um, I've had chapped hands and um, very very sore um, skin. Um, it's because of the weather and constantly washing and um, sanitizing. I've been using a moisturizer. Um, this is the one I've been using. Um, it, it it's okay for now. I've been using it for the last two days, um, so my you know my skin is is kind of clearing up a little bit more. It looks very dry at the moment, um, so hence the plasters and because it just my skin just splits. Um, so if anyone out there knows of any really good creams or moisturisers, um, please leave a um, comment in the comment section below, and then I can um, try them because it's driving me mad um okay um in the last video um i did part one of how to attach findings to make jewelry um so i did say that i would make a bracelet using these um shell discs uh, which i have done for you um Basically what I've done is I've added um, the 8mm jump rings in between each disc um, and and then added a closed jump ring um, and then added a, a lobster clasp. Um, the closed jump rings are 10mm, the jump rings are a 8mm and the clasp is a 12mm. Um, you can put on smaller jump rings but I quite like them with the larger ones so that's the bracelet made um, very pretty very simple just using you know the shells and um, jump rings and a clasp and you've made yourself a bracelet so once you know how to open a jump ring and add these things up these findings on you can make any anything um, so that's that one um, the other thing is I was going to show you is how to attach um, an earring or make an earring and then attach it to the ear wire. You, it, I, I will show you very sim the simple way so you can make loads of different you know earrings. You can add you know head pins, eye pins, make them long earrings, short earrings, and then until you actually learn you know sort of more. Um, difficult sort of advanced um, earring making um, this is you know the the first step so this this is um, a head pin I don't know if you can see that um, it's a very 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 um, it's it's I think it's one inch um, and it basically is um, silver plated so I'm going to put a couple of beads on like so and and then I'm going to use my um, round nose pliers just to put at the top of the bead making sure you hold the bottom of the beads and then what I do then is I put my finger here and then I push the um, head pin over so it basically looks like this um, like this one and then I again get my round nose and then I basically turn it so that the um, let's flatten that out a bit so basically it looks like this and then I put my um, round nose to sort of the end of the head pin and then I basically hold the beads with my other fingers on my other hand and then I push down on them so they don't move and then I literally roll the round nose round
and then I just sort of do it a little bit more to make a loop like so. So there's your loop. Um, you can use, um, oh, I'd say chain nose or flat nose, just to sort of flatten that out a little bit, making sure you don't mark the metal too much. Um, and th and you know, there's a loop there. It's just, just an example to show you how to do it. So it, it can be a little bit difficult to begin with, um, but you will get used to it. Um, then I get a ear wire which is basically like this one um, again you can use flat nose or round nose I prefer to use round nose to open the um, open it up so basically you find where the hole is in the you basically find where the hole is or the gap is there and then I put the round nose into it and then I just I just literally open it slightly like so I don't know that would be enough hopefully um and then i literally put the the loop that you've just made with your earring and then use the round nose or flat nose just to push that back into place like so and then you've made an earring pretty easy really but as i said the loop takes a lot of practice um, you need a lot of patience and perseverance with it, but you you will you will get there. You will achieve it. Um, I think it. I think at one point where when I was learning before, um, it drove me mad. I I ended up throwing it across the room and the tool. <laughs> um, but after a while, I got there and made quite quite a lot of nice earrings. Um, so that's that. Um, all the other findings that that I could show you, I will show in some um, other videos. Sort of do some several short videos, so otherwise you'll be taking too much in um, at one time. So um, I just wanted to show you a few little beads that I've got here um, and some more pendants, which are quite nice. Um, so this one here is um, it's a peacock, I think. Um, it seems to be quite thin. It's, I think it, I think it's like, it's kind of a tin. It's quite flimsy, very thin and, uh, but it's, I thought it was quite, quite nice. Um, the tops where the loops are, are not very well made, but they have gaps in them as well. So, um, basically you would have to use, um, maybe, um, uh, not wire, I don't think. I think you have to use some sort of material, um, stringy material that isn't going to go through this. Or you could yet get your round, um, sorry, your round nose pliers or your flat nose and just tighten it. But I did have a try earlier and it didn't, um, didn't quite do it. So, um, but I'm sure I'll find something to, to string it with. I thought it was quite nice, that one. Um, the other one is, is this one. Um, again, um, very thick, solid metal. Um, it has a loop at the back, um, which has been soldered to the actual main pendant. Um, there's no gaps in this one, so perfect to put some wire through. Um, it's kind of a um, um, swirl, kind of kind of quite pretty it's kind of a um it's on the bottom as well on the out in the inside which is good um so yeah that's nice you can i mean you can use string and wire wire um anything with that one or maybe a beaded um necklace and then on the bottom of that one so that that'd be quite nice um the other one is this one um it's red on one side it's quite thick it's it's glass and it's gold gold pattern got the gold and red pattern on on the other side so again any string and wire ribbon um, so that's quite a nice one um, and then this one is a sparkly one that's kind of made to kind of look old and 
sort of antique -y. Um I don't even know where I got this one from. I do buy um, sort of bags of broken jewellery, so it could have could have come in that. Um, again, soldered to the back, so easy for wire. So you can, you know, add some nice beads to that one. Um, then I have these little beads here. I'll pick them up. Um, these are um, ceramic ones. So some some really lovely colours. I love I love this turquoise one. It's really nice. Um, these ones are, are quite nice as well. Um, lovely patterns on these ones. So I mean you could add these to a necklace, make a pair of earrings. Um, if they were slightly bigger, you could have used them for the, you know, the the light pool in the bathroom. Um, that would be quite nice. Um, but yeah, um, it's those ones. And um, these ones here are these are shells. They are actually shells that have been sort of spray painted or you know painted. They've got the holes in them, so you can add the wire or um, a very large or sorry a very long um, head pin or eye pin. Um, so they're quite nice as well. Um, and then I was going to show you one of um, my cluster bracelets. Um, it is um, made of these ones here are oh, these beads here are like flowers. They're sort of a mustard color. Um, they are um, glass and also the very small um, cubed clear glass um, beads I put on first onto the head pin and then added the flower bead after. There's also um, garnet um, gem chips on here too, lots of nuggets and some lovely green, sort of lime green um, seed beads on there. So that's um, nice. And then obviously when I was talking about um, different clasps, this one is a toggle clasp. Um, so basically it opens um, like this, push it through and then opens like this one. And then you do that back through and then it can get a bit fiddly. Oh. Anyway, you see the point, it's, it's just, yeah. Um, so yeah, so my, one of my cluster ones. And then I made some earrings to match. So I did the same thing, um, I did the, instead of having the the glass um, bead cube at the bottom, I've added the garnet instead for the earrings and then added the lime green as well on there. So those, oops, those are the earrings um, to go with, to go with the bracelet, to go with this one. So it's all matching. Um, the other thing is um, um, the next video um, I will show you some more things how to um, attach more findings. Um, so that will probably be on Saturday. Um, I'm hoping you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see any more, um, if there's anything you want to see specifically, then please leave, um, you know, in the comment section and um, I'll see what I can do. Um, any questions, do the same. Um, ask me in the comment uh, comments and um, I'm hoping you like this video and um, see you soon. Thank you, bye.